25 cents? Better oh, be yeah. pretty great. Yeah. It is, I promise! Wow, this huh? is actually See? really tasty. We you got make this all common. by yourself? Sure did. Uh -huh. Someday, I'll have my own chain of restaurants with burgers, <laughs> fries, and cookies. <laughs> Maybe I'll even make my own chocolate bar, too. <laughs> Okay, that's a leap. Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Think Reacts, where today we are reacting to Mr. Beast's sad origin story. Now we all know how the story ends or continues, and it's a really happy one. So I'm interested to see what they came up with for a sad origin of Mr. Beast. Because the dude is all smiles and why shouldn't he be? I'm gonna go ahead and like the video. And if you are a fan of Mr. Beast, click the like button and subscribe. If you're already subscribed to his channel, subscribe to mine. It's only fair if I'm reacting to his origin story that you subscribe to me as well. This is the first Game Tunes animation that I have seen that has an origin story of an actual person. Like everything we've seen. So, I mean, like, look right here the origin of Minecraft mobs. We are always seeing like in game stuff, right? Choo choo char. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna check that out. Oh, that looked terrible. <laughs> but yeah, it's always been video game characters. So this is an actual person. So they might be like, you know, they, not all of these or not many of these are actually true. So they're just making stuff up about it, guys. So let's check it out. Oh. Chasing. Here, you mongrel. Is that, I'll teach you to steal from me. Is that him? Oh, he's gonna get away. Yes, Wait, I lost is him. he a thief? Now we just need to. Oh! oh. He's definitely a klutz. Great. Now look what you did. Oh, it's all caught. ruined. I ought to make you pay for every lost loaf, you thieving little. There's I'm only sorry two. for stealing. I'm just Are those real? Those so tears, hungry. Tears are so hungry. And I knew I couldn't afford it on my own. Ah, listen, kid. I get it. You're poor. But nothing okay. in this life comes for free. If you, you want to be anything in this world, you, you got to make money. A lot of it. You understand? Yeah. Is that so you can help other people? Ah, you think Who so? Who is him? The more cash you make, the greedier you get. Trust me. Well, All right. One day when I'm rich, I'll give away tons of money for free. <laughs> Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> oh, you better listen, dude. If you robbing my bakery again, I'll have the cops lock you away for good. Yo, he could have. He could have stolen from the cash forward, register. A young Jimmy Donaldson. Jimmy Donaldson. Knew what his mission in life was to earn as much money as possible and to make the world a better place than. The end. <laughs> Right there. One minute and 15 seconds in, we just saw the entire origin story, I think. Like, I don't know what the next seven minutes and six seconds are gonna be about, but he robbed a bake. Well, okay, he didn't rob a bakery. He took a couple loaves of bread, okay? And then a guy chased him down, told him off, and then he vowed to make lots of money and give it away so that people don't experience a childhood or a life like his and everybody's happy. The other thing is I'm going to pause the video just like I did right now. Talk a lot. Uh, if you want to watch the video without interruptions, please go watch the original. Don't watch this one because you're going to get annoyed. I, I stop it a lot. And before, but it's not easy making money, especially no, as a kid. Oh, okay. At first, he tried boy. delivering newspapers. People do that. I, I never did that, but I know a lot of people did as a... Well, he's not very good at it. <laughs> Was that Stan Lee? But his clientele weren't oh, too thrilled with his geez. services. Then he decided to start washing cars. Hey, okay, I've done that. Almost every family's got one of those. Unfortunately, yeah. the customers all seem to prefer his direct competition. Direct competition? Theirs is Eventually, a lot better though, than his. He found something that worked. 25 cents? I did this? Who hasn't done this? I mean, oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe you haven't, but I did this as a kid. 425 cents a cup. I sold lemonade and I, I gotta be honest, it probably cost my parent like a lot more like with just the cups and the lemonade and the ice and the sugar and the, 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 the well, I don't tell anyone, but like I didn't use actual lemons. I used like, it's either crystal light or like Kool-Aid mix, but whatever, whatever. It cost my parents probably more to get all of the ingredients than it did that I made. Because, like, I was out there all day and I made, like, $3.75. And it probably cost him, like, $25 for this. <laughs> I'm a but, but, I would say I'm a terrible business person, but I'm not because I used someone else's investment. And then it went into my pocket because my parents got none of it. So, I, it was pure profit to me. In this economy, better oh, be yeah. pretty great. It yeah. is, I promise. 
All right, let's see, dude. Wow. Mm. All right, Mr. Businessman. This ah, is actually see? really tasty. We you got make this all by yourself? Sure did. And if this goes well, uh -huh. someday I'll have my own chain of restaurants with burgers, <laughs> fries, and cookies. <laughs> Maybe I'll even make my own chocolate bar, too. <laughs> okay, that's a leap. That, I mean, come on. Like... You're telling me that he was like, I don't know, nine years old, and he's like, I'm gonna make a Mr. Beast. I mean, well, he doesn't actually have the name yet, but I'm gonna make, a, I'm gonna have burgers and chocolate bars. Like, yeah, he definitely pinpointed that, you know, 20 years ago. Sure. Wow. You're quite the money earning machine. What a beast. You know <gasps> what? I was a young entrepreneur once. Okay. Let me help you out. What are you doing? How much for the whole picture? Whoa. Uh... $20? $20? $20. That's what I would have done. Here you go. <gasps> Wait. Yo, hold on. Mr. Beast, that's $10. I'm just, I'm just, I, I, you know, like I was going to say we're the same. I would have sold that for $20 just like he just did. But I would have actually, that's only a single bill too. I would have actually called the guy out and said, hey, buddy, that's like half what you just offered me. Don't take the money, man. Get the full 20 he said 20 bucks. How in the world did you get all that money? It's only $10. What are you... uh, I'd have to sell lemonade by the barrel to make well, that much cash. No, you uh, actually. That's easy. It's this new thing called YouTube. Oh, he's you a YouTuber. You make one popular video, and you're basically an instant millionaire. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this guy's such a liar. I mean, look, okay, if this is really what happened, it, it, it got uh, Mr. Beast into YouTube. But the dude is a liar. You make one video and you're instant millionaire. I have made five, almost 6,000 videos over like almost, well, I don't know what year is it, 2023. Oh, well, okay, over 11 years. It is not that easy. One video does not make a millionaire, like Whoa, at all. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Well, good luck to you then. Hey, Mr. Beast. Wait, 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 wait. You paid for $10 and you got the picture? Oh, we are way more alike than I thought, Mr. Donaldson. That picture probably cost more than $20. This YouTuber just ripped you off, man. Your parents are going to be so mad. Mr. Beast. I kind of uh, like that. Yeah. With a new objective and a new name. Oh, this is cool. This is like old YouTube. Okay, that that that, that should say one video right there because like there's a video. But like this, do you, oh, I don't know if you guys, I don't even remember what are they called annotations i think we used to have this functionality on our channels we could put like overlays at any point in the video that would point out certain things you could change the color like red green blue maybe any color gray you could make clear ones that's really really cool yeah there's the annotation button you could turn them off because they get annoying but uh but but that's that's old school youtube i'm so surprised they remember that and then right here you guys might not even know these YouTubers, but Fred was huge. The envy of everyone having the username just Fred. Like that was so rare back in YouTube days. You didn't have display names or the check or what are, what are those things they just rolled out handles? Like you were Fred, Fred was Fred. And then uh, Ryan Higa was actually Niga Higa. I don't know if he's, I mean, that's his real name. Ray William Johnson was huge. Uh, back then, he was like a reaction, oh jeez, <laughs> a reaction channel. Uh, oh, and Numa Numa, oh, I love that video. I, you know how many times I've watched that video in my lifetime? Every once in a while, I get, I get, I, I want to watch it. It's the guy singing to the uh, Numa Numa song. <laughs> Mr. Beast oh, was man. determined to become a that YouTube cool. star. Oh, look, Only problem oh, I don't know that one. Bruh. I don't know this one. But yeah, these are all really popular videos. They did their research. Was, he was still broke. To make matters oh, worse, yeah. he still didn't know Are exactly what ones? kind of channel he wanted to be. All the most popular videos at the time oh, were filled day, with hilarious comedies. He was like, I'm not listening to this narrator. By the way, we're going to have to go back because I'm just nerding out over old YouTube. But like, this is like, he has like a really deep voice. Uh, I just remember listening to his. And then Gangnam Style, back when it was only 11 million views, I believe Gangnam Style was the first video to a billion views, I think. And now there's, I don't know, people probably have YouTube shorts that are over a billion Sketches views. or new parodies. Okay, wait, wait, let's go Pops back, hold on. <laughs> YouTube star. <laughs> let's Only listen. problem was, he was still broke. He was broke. To make matters Zero worse, views. he still okay. didn't know exactly what kind of channel he uh, wanted to be. All the most popular okay. videos at the time were filled with hilarious comedy sketches or new yep. parodies. But Mr. Yep. Beast was just a kid. He didn't know all about that stuff. 
Okay, yeah, so he didn't know about all that stuff. So what, parodies, like trolling videos, or Minecraft? Why is there a CD? So he's trying to figure out, why is he a library? He doesn't have his own computer? Oh, that's right, he doesn't have his own computer because he's broke. Stuff. Okay. So he decided to make his channel about something all kids enjoy. Video Minecraft. games. Okay. Most of the money he had saved up as a kid went straight towards buying a computer. One barely even powerful enough true. to play games at all. He had to go dumpster that. diving to find the rest of the Ew. accessories. Now there was only Did one thing really? left he needed to begin his journey. An actual game. And there was only one that made perfect sense. <laughs> Minecraft. Oh man, all the copies of Minecraft are but sold out. But the thing is, Dang, you can really? buy that online. You I'm don't buy that, that game too. It looks awesome. You yeah. know what other game looks great? Call, Call of Duty, Duty Black, Black Ops 2. 2. Did we just that become best friends? Costs way more I than think Minecraft. So. And with that, the Mr. Beast channel oh gained its first subscriber. Oh, that, oh look at that, Dan! Wait, oh no, it's the Ryan. But that looks like Dan. Dan. I, I guess I mixed it up with Ryan. But he's got the earring. And, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's PewDiePie right there. The Mr. Beast channel gained its first subscriber, and oh. Jimmy gained a lifelong friend. First subscriber. But he was far from an overnight okay. success story. Mr. Yeah. Beast's True. early gaming you, videos you struggled to find well significant viewers. The yeah. Let's Play space yeah. was already being dominated by huge stars like, like Markiplier, Markiplier and PewDiePie. And Jack! You don't mention Jack! You even put him in the video, you didn't even talk about him. This is Markiplier, PewDiePie. Look! Look! No thumbnail! <laughs> Undertale? Wait, no, did Mr. Beast, he wasn't big when Undertale came out? Surely, it feels like he's been around forever, but maybe that's actually true. Who are both still extremely popular yes, to this day. Yes, true. So he had to shake things up. Instead oh, of exclusively yeah, just playing made. video games, yep. he started talking about how much Let's Player YouTubers made. Yeah, that's right. He learned how YouTube's back end video? worked, what the top earner oh, got yeah. paid, and how he's they like, were able to gather views. At the time, he the thought stats. this was all just to make content, but this research all led him to eventually shift the direction of his channel forever. forever. Chris, I got an idea. Oh. I'm going to count to 10,000 on camera. <laughs> yes. Wait, what? I think I figured out how I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna start doing all these ridiculous challenges no one else would even <laughs> they thought think it was to stupid. attempt. There's a what reason a no one idea, wants right? to count but... to 10,000, Jimmy. It'd take forever. I'm talking multiple hours yep. here. Exactly. Mr. Beast was right. <laughs> One, two, it might have been a long, yes. mind-numbing crawl. <laughs> videos. Was but it his virtual a... stunt started gathering attention. Wait, hold on. There's a problem here. First of all, was that one in his top 30 videos? Like, he figured it out faster than I thought. I thought he had to do like at least 100 videos before he started uh, doing the challenges, but maybe not. Is this? Oh no, it's okay. I was about to say like, what is this number he's done here? Okay, no, no, no. He's 6,000, 6,001. I thought it was like 6 million, I don't know, 6 billion something. A lot uh, of attention. Before yeah. long, he not only was getting millions. Wait a second. Okay, now it's really messed up. <laughs> Look, <laughs> he's counting to eight. Look, counting to 10,000 in one sitting. And he's at 8,675,309. No, nope, that's not how numbers work. I'll, I'll give it to you. Wait, I need to go back. Dude, I am not listening to this narrative. It's because it's about YouTube and it's because it's real life. Also, did he already have the logo at that point? I don't know. I've never actually watched that video. But his virtual stunt started gathering attention. Yeah. A lot of attention. Okay. Before long, he not only was getting millions of views on YouTube. A million views. He even had news outlets Whoa. taking notice. Mr. Beast had finally done it. Wait, where's the like, he had mustache? made a viral YouTube video, <laughs> one popular enough to, to bring him in serious dollars. money. And here he was presented with a choice. With the money he'd earned, he could start spending it all on Yo, himself, buying what? fancy clothes and jewelry, yeah. or he could give it back to those in need, Ooh, like he promised he would all those years ago. It's not a choice. He said he would do it. He better follow through. For Mr. Beast, yes. the choice was simple. There he is. He was going to be kind. He gave away money to those in need, tipping pizza delivery guys mm -hmm. and Uber drivers, donating well, to small. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tipping pizza drivers and Uber delivery or pizza delivery guys and Uber drivers. Got that mixed up in my head. He didn't just tip them. He tipped them like ten thousand dollars. It wasn't like he tipped them like, hey, look, it was a hundred dollar pizza delivery. I'll give you twenty percent, right? Like he got like a pizza and gave the guy ten thousand dollars. <laughs> You're underselling a little bit there. Twitch streams, 
all oh, while yeah. he continued performing he that wild Twitch challenges thing that gathered tens donations. of millions of views from around the world. Yep. Soon, his challenges oh, yeah. started to become so extreme he that he a needed team. a fully dedicated space. Yeah. And with a new space, yep. he needed to assemble a team. Yep. There was Chris the meme god, of course. Yep. Then Man. Chandler Hollow. Yep. Then Jake the Viking, yeah. who later got replaced by the fan favorite, Carl Jacobs. In many ways, it was just the beginning. Oh, Everything geez. Everything about his channel, or at this point, Look at those numbers. channels, kicked into Yeah, how many overdrive. channels did he have? He has the like The challenges, the 12? thumbnails, the production value. Yeah, Mr. Everything. Beast really had hit his stride. Yeah. By late 2020, That's it seemed as if Mr. Beast had done it yeah. all. Eaten golden pizza, yeah. spent 50 yeah. hours in Private solitary Island. confinement, created game. the world's game. most I know dangerous it's escape room. No. He was at the top of his game. Yeah. Then, a new tr most dangerous escape room. He was at the top of his game. Then, a new trend appeared. Yep. One that would spark Squid game. the biggest I knew it. video in Mr. Beast's career. Yep. Squid Game. Yes, over he decided to remake the popular now. show in its entirety, yep. spending millions of dollars on production. I think it, yeah, it took what? months to complete, I think it was like two million but in the end, dollars it was spent. all worth it. Hundreds of contestants slowly got whittled down game after game, from red light, green light, Yo, through glass stepping stones, 79? leaving only a select few left to compete for the ultimate prize of $456,000. Eventually, Yo. contestant 079 yep, won the final game of musical chairs, claiming the pot. But the real winner was Mr. Yo. Beast. Not After 300 only for million building views. one of the most incredible sets imaginable, but for racking up his most viral video yet. Yep. So far, his Squid Game video has gained over 300 million views yeah, and has remained the biggest video on his channel. It inspired some of his new oh, content yeah, the as Willy well, Wonka one. Like yeah. recreating the Willy Wonka That was factory. a huge video too. Mr. Beast has accomplished quite a lot in his young career. Look at it. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Real quick, it says, wait, 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 where is it? Where is it? The Willy Wonka factory. Mr. Beast has accomplished quite a lot. He accomplished quite a lot in his young career. Throwing newspapers at people and selling a pitcher of lemonade for $20. <laughs> Way a to go. In his young career. Breaking viewership there records. There we go. Launching his own chain 10, of burger restaurants. Okay. And donating millions oh, of dollars I to charity see. The for Team C's and Team Trees. Yeah. There doesn't seem Mr. like there's Beast much burger. left for yep. him to strive for. Oh, I'm sure But even though something. he's climbed the peak of the YouTube oh, mountain top. Buttons. We all know that with where's Jimmy, the, where's the diamond even one? the sky is the limit. Yeah. Dude, and what, sky's the limit now space? Space? Oh. Oh, that looks scary. Ooh. You guys want to you guys want to see this? That might be a good one. I might like to see that. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. Click the like button. But there it is. That is Mr. Beast's sad origin story. Now, it may or may not be true. It is true that he did see gaming YouTubers and wanted to be one. He always knew he wanted to be a successful YouTuber. So it's not far-fetched that uh, a YouTuber told him, if you become one, you can make a lot of money. Uh, and and uh, who knows, maybe when he was little, he always thought he wanted to give to charity. Or maybe that came along later. But a lot of the information in there, once you get past that very beginning part with stealing bread from the bakery, uh, a lot of it is probably true. So if you guys enjoyed the video, enjoyed my reaction to it, click the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, good line!